are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, ESPN is in a world of trouble for the woke Disney company. As you guys already know, weeks ago, people got laid off at ESPN. They actually took a bunch of people that people actually knew from the front of the TV screen and fired them. Let them go. Why? Because ESPN is not making a profit. It's been a very, very long time, guys, since uh, ESPN was actually truly the worldwide leader. You cannot be the worldwide leader when you're not making money. They have turned people off. They went full political. But you know what? It actually starts all the way at the top. Bob Iger, the uh, Disney CEO. Yeah, that's a woke company, man. The woke Disney company as a whole is just destroying themselves. As you guys know, we also cover entertainment and woke Disney movies. They have lost over a billion dollars, pretty much like in the last year. They're not making money because they're pushing woke propaganda. It's the same thing over there at ESPN. ESPN is a far left company. They have just turned off so many people from them. Guys, there used to be a time when I would actually get up in the morning, listen to Mike and Mike, listen to ESPN all day long when I was actually working a regular job. I mean, it was Mike and Mike, the herd first take. I'll be sitting in my um, at my desk or in my office and I would actually have my headphones on listening to that while I was actually working. No more. Absolutely not. ESPN is a woke joke. And guys, we heard rumors about the possibility of ESPN being sold off. And guys, that is a reality now. And it is now confirmed. Look at this, guys. Disney looking to sell equity stake in ESPN, other networks as financial losses mount. Now, when it came to the um, the layoffs at ESPN, that came directly from ESPN themselves. That was not a part of the Disney layoffs. That just lets you know, man, that this company is not making a profit. And there's going to be more layoffs. Make no mistake about it. Stephen A. Smith even says that there will be more layoffs. Now, he said it could be him. It's not going to be him. But um, let's go ahead and dive into some of this, guys. Here we go. As its financial losses continue to mount, entertainment giant Disney is looking, is starting to look for ways to unload large chunks of ownership states and TV networks, including ESPN, ABC, FS, National Geographic, uh, Freeform and others. Now, we're only going to be focusing here on ESPN. OK, uh, Disney uh, chief Bob Iger recently told CNBC that the Mouse House is searching for new partners that might be open to sinking cash into these networks, which may, quote, not be core to Disney's best interest. Now, when it comes to ESPN, guys, Disney owns 80 percent of the company. I believe uh, Hearst Communications actually owns the other 20 percent. But Disney is just bleeding money year after year. I believe it's been like 12 years, probably, since Disney um, ESPN actually made a profit. It's probably been that long, guys. And I believe that uh, Disney now is fed up because they have gotten so woke, guys, that nothing is making money. I mean, people at the theme parks, they're not even going there like they used to. I mean, it's that bad. But when you really start bleeding money, guys, I believe eventually they're just going to sell off ESPN completely because they're actually looking at um, starting a uh, streaming service just for ESPN and sports. And the rumor is that they, they're actually going to charge like 20 bucks a month. That's a lot of money, guys. That is a lot of money. I mean, right now, when you actually look at your cable bill, if you actually have cable, roughly like $15 of that is already ESPN. Now, of course, you got ESPN, ESPN News, ESPN2, uh, SEC Network, and they got others. They have way, way, way too many stations actually owned by ESPN that's connected to cable. And people are actually cutting the cord. 
Now, if you guys think this is something new here, no, it's not. This is an OutKick article here from 2017. Look at this. ESPN profit plummets as network turns left. Yeah, see, they were all woke back then, too, man. I mean, the Donald Trump age, man, ESPN definitely went off a cliff. That was doing the uh, sport, Sports Center uh, 16, Jamel Hill going uh, full political. Yeah, look at this here. This is from 2017 here. It says, yesterday afternoon, Disney announced its quarterly earnings and something I've been predicting for several years now was at the forefront of most of those stories. ESPN's income declined 11% compared to last year. The drag on um, earnings and revenue from ESPN led to a quarterly uh, miss of estimates of ESPN's parent company, Disney. Uh, fortunately for a Disney company, has made uh, smart strategic moves in other areas, uh, including uh, buying Pixar, Star Wars, and Marvel, among others. Well, remember, this is back in 2017. Ain't looking so good now for, um, for um, Star Wars and Marvel. Now, this was like, um, article was around like the last Jedi-ish kind of time where they actually made money and then solo actually lost money right here. But you guys get the point. Uh, let's go back over here. Okay. Um, it continues on here. It says, uh, Iger appeared on the cable news network on Thursday and said that some of the financial problems he's facing as CEO CEO are self inflicted. You don't say, you don't say now the Walt Disney company has gotten all in bed trying to fight Ron DeSantis over there in Florida. And they were actually pushing propaganda on live sports shows on ESPN. Talking about um, Florida's um, Parental Rights and Education Act, which they were calling Don't Say Gay. They were lying on TV. They were making political statements on TV. And people said, nah, nah, we're out. And people have continued to cut the cord. People don't like ESPN. They're pushing stuff even on live sports. Now, the one I'm actually referring to, I believe that was like women's college basketball or something like that. Uh, Iger, of course, was CEO several years ago and has uh, retaken the role after Bob Chapek was uh, removed. And he, Iger, was once again given a job. Bob Iger was always CEO behind the scenes. Chapek was a puppet. That's all he was, guys. I mean, man, them actually... Openly admitting that they're trying to sell off some of um, ESPN. Kind of an eye opener, guys. It really, really is. This is not surprising, guys. The rumor was that they were actually going to try to do it. Now, they're not unloading the whole thing, but they're actually looking for investors in this. Now, if you are an investor, would you actually want to buy 20 percent of Disney's 80 percent stake? I mean, they really... Honestly, guys, I truly do believe they want to try to sell the whole thing off. Now, the problem is, man, if they actually have ESPN strictly on streaming, what are we seeing from these streaming companies? It takes many years to make a profit. And by the way, Disney Plus, they lost four million subscribers in the first quarter. Four million. They're not making money on streaming. If Disney Plus is not making money on streaming, you got to think, man. There is no way in the world that a ESPN streaming service would actually make money. I just don't see it. And I believe that would actually hurt Monday Night Football because ESPN actually has Monday Night Football. If they had that streaming service, it'll be strictly on um, ESPN. And I don't believe many people actually watch it. I don't think the NFL would actually be happy with that either. They're going to have to find some kind of way to actually put that on something else. Now, the speculation is that they want they want to get rid of ABC completely. And that's why you actually see, I guess, simulcast of live sports. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.